Manawatu's ground weight is one of New Zealand's most successful golfing exports. One of just eight Kiwis to have won on the PGA Tour, where he held off Tom Kite by one shot at the 1993 Kemper Open. But each August, when the Canadian Open rolls around, Grant Waite's name resurfaces in magazine articles and YouTube clips as the supporting actor in what is widely considered as Tiger Woods' greatest ever shot. Oh, what a shot. Does it get any better than this, guys? The last day we were tied for the lead and, you know, played together. And in that point in his career in 2000, there was really nothing he could do wrong. And everything he played in, he basically won. I ended up going out and shooting 66 the last day on a very difficult golf course. Unfortunately, he shot 65, and we got to the last hole, and he had a one-shot lead, and he drove his ball slightly to the right, and it went through the fairway into the right-hand bunker. Where he was, he was in the bunker. He also had to go over a set of trees that were in front of him, the water, and then to the pin, which was tucked right over the water. And when he first made contact, I thought he hit it in the water, but fortunately for him, it carried just far enough and on the edge of the green. Does it get any better than this, guys? Get, Just when you it? think you've seen <laughs> it all from Tiger Woods, up. Right. he comes up with and one more great golf shot. I've always said to people in the past, you know, that if there was just uh, one grain of sand between the club face and that ball, it could have changed my life forever. But, um, you know, I'm still happy with the performance. I shot a tournament record 21 under par, broke the record by four, but just still lost to Tiger. And, Sergio Garcia was third, he was like seven behind, so it was a great tournament. Despite his southern drawl picked up from living in Ocala in Florida, where his wife hails from, Waite fondly remembers his junior golfing years in Palmerston North. He's one of three Manawatu golfers to have gone from the fairways of Hokafitu to the PGA Tour. You know, in reality, that's kind of like a miracle, to be honest with you. If I took um, all the players on the PGA Tour, there wouldn't be many that come three from the same club, if at all. From the same area, sure, but we're from the same golf club, and it's really an achievement. It's quite an achievement, and I always say the other two looked at me and said, well, if that guy can do it, anybody can. We had a good set of juniors. We had probably five or six of us. There was not only Craig Perks, myself, there was uh, Lincoln and Steve and Charles. We had Eric Booker, and we had a few other guys that we, we would just come down straight from school, get on our bikes, come straight down here. Our clubs would be here and just get on the practice fairway with our school uniforms on and just hit balls and have fun. And then by the time the uh, senior members would then get off work, we'd have to get off the practice fairway, so then we went and played. There was a really good just learning environment, fun environment that, that made you want to play more golf. And I think that if you give that incentive to young kids, just wanting to play and it's fun, then they'll find a way to, to play the game and be pretty good. Grant has a passion for improving golf games. After 22 years of golfing grind, he transitioned into an in-demand swing instructor, working with a number of tour pros. His clients have included fellow Manawatu man Tim Wilkinson, Masters champ Mike Weir, and he was even rumoured to be Tiger Woods' choice as coach in 2014. His experience as a former tour pro proving invaluable. Getting into that coaching, getting away from the PGA Tour, that was really interesting to me. I'd had some interest from players on the tour, some of them that I'd played with, and they wanted me to help them with their games. They, they liked how I uh, would swing the club when I would talk about the golf swing, they liked it. They saw that I could really play, and they wanted someone who knew that side of it as well as the playing side of it, and that's unusual. Most coaches didn't play at the level that I played at. Being a tournament player, I understand that every Thursday the players tee off uh, with their career on the line. You really don't want to make a change that makes them struggle. They lose their confidence and they go to the first team and you expect them to play well. So you've got to be able to slowly move them but protect their, their confidence at the same time. I learned a lot from those players about how they prepared, how they got ready for a tournament, how they, they processed things. So it was not only good I could help them, which I did because everyone played better when I helped them, but it also I learned some things about myself and how they do it that actually helped me as well. One of Grant's coaching philosophies is to use the technology that is available in the modern game. And he and his coaching partner, Joseph Mayo, are passionate about tools like TrackMan. Technology, you're not going to stop this, right? So technology is coming. There, there is a philosophy that thinks that if you get technology involved and there's information coming, it becomes too technical. In my opinion, it actually makes it less technical. Why? Because it's giving you relevant information that's measurable and it's not a guess. 
So what we used to do is we used to stand on the driving range, hit shots, and then we'd kind of guess at what's happening and intuitively figure it out. And some of us would, some of us wouldn't. But in this case, we're all now getting data, it's objective data, and then you interpret that data. But it's telling you what you're doing in real time as you're doing it. And not only that, but you have comparative stuff now that you can compare to maybe a model that you're looking at. For example, if I have uh, a, a guy that's five foot nine or, or sh on shorter status, I'll have him look at some of the things that Rory's doing, maybe a Ricky Fowler's doing, and then you'll have some guys that are taller. You can look at a Dustin Johnson, you can look at, you know, this, the list goes on. And, and that way, th there is no more guessing. You know, um, if you went to a doctor, would you want him to take an MRI or would you want him to just guess? you'd want him to take an MRI. You would take, use all the technology available to give a, a proper diagnosis of what's going on. And in golf instruction, we now have that. So I, I think technology can rapidly change the learning curve for a lot of players, not only at the high level, but most importantly at the beginning level, because now they can actually understand the complexity of the game, and that complexity starts to melt away because they have relevant information that's correct. And I think it can make it more fun, and I think people can improve, because th there isn't any golfer out there that doesn't want to play a little bit better. And as a proud Kiwi and highly respected golf coach, Grant is pleased to see the new generation of New Zealand touring pros flying the silver fern around the globe. What Lydia Coe is doing, that's just an, an amazing feat, and I hope people really recognise how great that is. You know, we've never had a golfer reach number one um, until her. What she's doing is, is remarkable, and um, a credit again to New Zealand golf and the development that she had. The great thing about New Zealand is that you have opportunity to play. You know, I've always said that when I was a kid, I couldn't wait to get out of New Zealand. I felt like I was at the bottom of the, the world. Uh, didn't have access to the things I needed and I really wanted to, to compete against the best in the world. And then I travelled all over the world playing golf and then I look back and go, I was really fortunate to grow up here in New Zealand. And so I, I think New Zealand golf's doing great. Three guys on the PGA Tour, Lydia Cote and the guys in Europe, I mean that's an incredible feat for such a small area. So we're doing a lot of things right. Whether he's coaching the next generation of PGA Tour stars or climbing the leaderboards of the Seniors Tour, Grant Waite has never forgotten his Palmerston North roots. Catch Holden Golf World, Thursdays and Saturdays.